So I rolled out of the tent early this morning. I uh, left Vicky and the kids back there. They're going to pack and go home later on, probably around lunchtime. Uh, but my plans for the day, I'm at the trailhead for Pine Point right now. Um, that goes into the start of the Dry Brook Trail and the Big Brook Trail. I plan on doing the loop, Big Brook Trail, up around just underneath Mount Carlton Peak. Um, then it goes across almost to Mount Head and then back down the Dry Brook Trail. It's about a 20 kilometer trip, so uh, I'm starting early. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, just having a little breakfast before I get stuff packed up and then I'll be on my way. So let's take a hike. So I've walked in a short distance, just a small road, it comes into Bathurst Lake. There's a little picnic table by the lake and you can look across, beautiful views. Um, but what I really came for is over in this direction is the trailheads for Big Brook and Dry Brook. So we're going to do the full loop, it's about 20 kilometers like I say. It's going to be a big day, a little overcast, hopefully the sun will come out and warm it up a bit. It's really cold, so uh, let's get started. Lots of beautiful views along Bathurst Lake. The trail follows right along the lake for, I think, most of the length of the lake. It's going to be a nice morning. Not far on the trail, I got a beaver that scared me, slapping his tail in the water, warning his friends that I'm around. Let's see if he comes back up, there he is. I just crossed over a small brook. Uh, now, just a little bit further, there's a bigger brook. Uh, I'm assuming that's Big Brook. Maybe that's why it's named that. Um, nice stream. If you look to the left here, there's little bridges crossing them, which is great because it'd be hard to cross otherwise. Even a bench on the other side. We're still following along Bathurst Lake, the edge of it. Uh, and it looks like the trail keeps going along the lake for a while. So I guess we'll see what happens. Nice place to just sit and listen to the stream go by. Just some more beautiful views of the lake. What a really, really nice view. Not sure if you can see this or not, but just under that pointed hill, you can see where I started. Way back at the picnic table, right by Bathurst Lake. We kind of come around the end of it. Uh, pine points off to the right here, so I didn't realize it looped around the end of the lake this way, but it's great views. The sun's coming out. Surely with all the signs I'm seeing, I'll be able to see a moose today. If so, it'd be the first moose I've seen in this park. I've seen signs, tracks, lots of moose poop. It looks like they hang out here, so here's hoping I get to see my first moose in Mount Carlton today. Well, I found Big Brook. And uh, I'm glad to see that there's a really nice bridge across Big Brook. Um, probably could cross it without too much trouble, but a lot easier with the bridge there, thanks to MB Trails. I think a couple years ago they fixed up this trail and Dry Brook and brought it back into commission, so thanks to them. Here beside the new bridge, you can actually see the remnants of the old bridge. Uh, looks like it was in pretty rough shape and it would have been difficult to cross. For those of you who don't know, uh, this is a uh, cinnamon fern coming back up next to Big Brook. Um, cinnamon ferns got the name because those dark stalks look like cinnamon, so that's how you can tell if it's cinnamon fern or not. Nice to see that they're coming back, nice to see that spring's finally here. Here's the crossing back across the Big Brook, further up. Uh, no bridge on this section, but uh, very easy to cross. There's some old corduroy and stuff there. So, really easy to cross without getting your feet wet. So I'm here with what I think is a tributary to Big Brook. It's a very nice stream in a deep valley. Lots of green moss. Just going to take some pictures, take a break. Um, almost to the Mount Carlton Trail and then I'll have to climb up towards Mount Carlton. But for now I'm going to climb up and down the stream and take some pictures.
Didn't know if I'd see any of this today or not. It's a small little valley that feeds into the stream and it's full of snow and ice still. But not much, just a little bit, so. Other than that, the trail's been great. Well, I just made another big brook trail and the last little bit was a little bit exciting. I uh, didn't get to see a moose, but I thought I thought I heard one. Uh, it's in a fur thicket, really thick. You can only see about three feet and it's not the place to be when you can hear a big animal nearby. Um, so I slowly made it through. Um, might have heard a moose, might not have, didn't see one anyways. So finished the big brook trail. I think it's about 13 kilometers all told, all the way from where I parked the car. Um, followed along the lake for the first four kilometers, then followed old forestry roads, uh, then crest crossed over Big Brook and a few other streams, uh, beautiful moss laden streams, so I got some good pictures there. Now I'm going to head up, see if it's 1.2 kilometers up to the peak. Not sure if I'm going to hit the peak or not, I might take a shortcut over in Dry Brook and head back down depending on the time. Um, might head over to head, uh, Mount Head too, so the options are still there, so we'll see how the time goes. For anyone who hasn't hiked the Mount Carlton Trail before, this is the cabin where the firemen stayed that watched for fires up on the tower on the peak. Um, if anybody's seen pictures of Mount Carlton, at the peak there's a tower and that's where they, in the 1920s to 19, almost 1970, uh, they'd get up there and watch for fires across the horizon and they'd come down here and stay, or stay here where it rained. So this is where they lived. Let's go inside and take a look. few cans left over garbage. I'll pick them up on the way out and do my part to keep the things clean. So for anybody who wants to know more about this, a uh, little bit more details and the dates, um, you can check out the interpretive sign here if you ever hike the trail or you can go on the Hiking MB website for the Mount Carlton Trail and there's a full description there and it'll be in the new downloadable guidebook when that becomes available. Uh, well you can see this but this little chicken of the woods scared the crap out of me. Almost stepped on him before he jumped out of the bushes. This is what most of the trail is up to Mount Carlton on the east side. Uh, it's basically an old ATV trail that's kind of washed out and rocky. So um, not too hard to go on. You just got to watch your footing with the rocks moving. Well, I made it to the Dry Brook Trail entrance. Uh, it's right at the base of the peak of Mount Carlton. So if you come around this way, that is the trail up to the peak of Mount Carlton. I was thinking I might bypass it because the sky is just gray. It's not great for pictures, but uh, I don't think I can get this close without going to check it out. So climb up there, have some lunch. Um, collected a little bit of garbage along the way, a little bit disheartening, but uh, we'll see how many I can carry down in that bag before uh, it starts catching on trees and stuff. So. Uh, if you can, do your part, pick up a few cans and bottles here and there, and the more it's clean, the less people are going to litter, so. So here's a tour from the peak. I crossed over somewhere in here. The trail comes up to the peak here. If you look down, that's the edge of Bathurst Lake there, so the trail went this way, up around, up around the ridge, come around. Going back down, there's a valley. Behind this little peak here, there's a valley. That's Dry Brook. That's where I'll be going back down going and if you can see a little rocky oak crop here that's Mount Head. If you look way across here that's the peak of Mount Sagamook. Oh, I messed up the focus. And if you keep coming back around where we were yesterday right there you can see the cliffs of uh, the Mount Bailey Trail that we were on yesterday. So and that back that way is the ridge that goes down the other side of the Mount Carlton Trail. And of course the tower. Here's after the cleanup. If only I had a broom. Well, I probably won't see any moose now carrying a big orange bag of uh, cans clattering together all the way down the hill. But uh, pretty much cleaned out the tower, so hopefully everybody will keep it clean. Like I say, if you see any stuff there, pick it up. Just pick up a few cans. It'll be better than the way you came. So, Bathurst Lake, and we're going to head down through this valley here, Dry Brook, back to the car. 
Still a bit of snow in this section. Uh, just heading over across towards Mount Head, to the Dry Brook Trail. Um, there's just little patches of snow all through. Fur thickets, hoping my garbage bag holds up and I don't leave cans all behind me. Just started down the Dry Brook Trail. Just start, dropped down into the steep sided ravine and there's a beautiful stream running down through it. Hoping it'll pick up into some waterfalls down below and get some good pictures. Where the beautiful little stream just below where I was just talking uh, flows into a nice, clear, beautiful pond. Just a small pond. But again, you can see moose tracks in the water there, but no sign of moose today. They probably hear my cans coming. I was just starting to think that I might not have much else to video, but now I found this waterfall. Falls steep, steep, steep into the ravine. Sure there'll be some place to take pictures down below. But if you can see that, the stream bottom, I guess another stream bottom that it goes into is way down below there. Well, I just tried to cross the stream and I stepped right in and up to my knees, so glad I only got a couple kilometers probably left to go, maybe up to four kilometers left to go. But what I was trying to get a picture of is another beautiful waterfall on this trail. What a great trail. that boot's been there for a while. An old beaver dam over to the left there. You can see where it's, it's punched through. Uh, this whole area looks like a beaver dam country. There's beaver dams all up through this uh, shallow valley. From the looks of it, this whole area has been underwater due to beavers. You can see they cut off all kinds of trees and it's just one big flat open area where everything died. Must have been flooded at some point. Well, I was wondering why the trail was underwater, and I think this explains it. Looks like their beavers are at work again, trying to back stuff up. Uh, it's kind of coming down the trail a bit. Uh, right around the two kilometer mark on the Drybrook Trail. Amazing that this stream was dry last summer when I was here at Caribou, Caribou Brook. So I'm back at Bathurst Lake. I didn't get to see a moose. 
Saw lots of signs. I saw fur on the ground, tracks, fresh tracks, fresh poop, everything. Didn't get to see them, but what I did find was amazing enough. Um, I got to see a three-toed black back woodpecker. Uh, wouldn't mean much to most of you, but uh, last time I saw one was in Pokeyock Park about 15 years ago. It's the only time I've ever saw one, so that was pretty exciting. I'll probably add a picture into the video. Um, but the waterfalls up in Dry Brook. Actually, when I started down the Dry Brook Valley, I said to myself, wow, this is going to be a quick walk. There's probably not much to see. Then I hit the first waterfall, about a 40-foot drop. Uh, came on a kind of a water slide half up, kind of a rock water slide and shot out. Amazing spot. I'll have to find out the name of that. And then all the way down, it was just progressively a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller waterfalls, but all of them amazing, an amazing mossy brook. Great trail. Um, not sure what it'll be like in the summertime. It is called Dry Brook after all, so it might dry out completely in the summertime. So I might have been completely lucky to see it today in full force. Um, the whole hike, uh, all the way around Big Brook to the peak at Carlton, back down Dry Brook, took me 10 and a half hours. It's 6.30 now, so I have a bit of a drive to get home. Um, so with that, until next time, get out and have your own adventures. Um, go explore, go hiking. And just one more thing, next time you're out hiking and you see a can, maybe pick it up, put it in your bag. Uh, if everybody did that, with just one can at a time, then it wouldn't be long before we wouldn't need to do that at all. And, and all these trails would be clean. Thanks. Well, finally got my moose about five kilometers outside of the gate of the park. Pretty young. Well, finally got my moose. Oh, here he comes.